Look at this thing. It's looking so cool. The build quality is pretty awesome. It's also very capable when we talk about climbing. It's like Spider-Man. It not only scrubs the floor, but also the walls all the way up to the waterline. It's engineered for exceptional agility. Got the new drip from Smo Robot. This is the Tank X11, a cordless robotic pool cleaner, fully automatic. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So this is the package. It has a medium size, but it's not that heavy. I can easily lift it like that. No problem whatsoever. On this side, we have the brand, the product made in China. On this side, there are my addresses. The labels top is blank. On this side, we have the same as on the front. Then again, my address and other than that, the box is kept simple. So let's see what's inside. Foam padding on top. Oh yeah. So never mind the outer box. It's a box in a box design for ultimate protection. So we have the foam paddings all the way around. Nice to see. Oh, these pads are actually gorgeous. And here we have the actual box. Tank X11. So by now I've reviewed countless robot vacuums. This is something similar, but it's for underwater usage for your pool. Super excited about this. On this side, it says intelligent, not randomized, precise and efficient cleaning of the swimming pool. So we have advanced edge cleaning, intelligent path planning, and also auto stop at the side. This side is the same as the front. It says powerful suction with ultra scrubbing brush wheels, precise motion control with three smart motors, and it also has a high output battery with a much longer runtime. The net weight of the robot is 8.3 kilograms. The gross weight of everything is 14.1. And lastly, dimensions. So let's open it up. On top, we have the paperwork. This part is empty. So right here we have X11, X11, and then this box and the robot itself. And this is what the box looks like from the inside. The robot was wrapped up. Silica gel in there as well. And these are the contents of the box. So three accessories, boxes and the robot itself. So let's get right to the accessories. Here we have the boxes in the small one. We have the charging brick with the cable for the outlet. Then here we have the brick right there. And on the bottom we have all the specs right here, this side. And then here we have the adapter for the pool robot. Looks pretty fancy. Then in this slightly bigger box, almost empty. Oh yeah, but we need the space. Inside here, first of all, we have this piece. Then we have the screws and the nuts. And then we also have this right on. And in this big one, let's see. We have this cage right here. Well, the compartment and you can open it up like so. We have this side, inside, this side. Oh, nice snap, love it. And top with a carrying handle made out of rubber and also the side. So to recap, you will get the brick, all of these parts and the cage or like the compartment. By the way, I forgot to show you this side with this flap for the retainment. Oh my God, the snap is awesome. And I also forgot about the paperwork. So you will get, first of all, this warranty sheet, just two pages right here. And here we have the back. And then you will, of course, also get a manual, this quick start guide right here. The thing is looking so cool. So three pages right here and also the other side. So you will get the hook, also two baskets, one standard fine and the other one ultra fine. The charging adapter, the floating ring and the floating rope and also replacement screws. Perfect. Done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. Look at this thing. It's looking so cool. The build quality is pretty awesome from what I can tell so far. It, it has quite a bit of weight to it, but yeah, it looks, it's, I love the design. So, yeah, let's get to a close overview. So, and here we have it, as I said, super nice handle. Carrying this is easy and the name definitely fits. It looks like a tank. It looks pretty epic if you ask me. So let's start from this side right here. Oh my God. It's so cool. It's literally like a tank. So is this called the chain? I guess so. Well, the track, the tracks. Right here we have covers for screws and the brand Tank X11. Then up here we have this screw cap. You can just screw it open. And this is 
where the charger will go. So in here of course we have a rubber seal. There are extra safety precautions with this sort of design. Let's screw it back together. This is the other side, cracks, otherwise this is blank. Then this is what the bottom looks like. Right here it sucks in the water and it has this rubber retaining flap. Then down here we have all sorts of screws and the bottom and again the tracks. And then right here we have the cleaning brush. So it will scrub the walls and then it will get filtered and all the debris and all the plants and stuff that will grow on there will get sucked in immediately. Then right here on the back we have the outlet. So again two rubber flaps. This is where the water will get out. On the back we also have the branding and we also have this and here we have a graphics it says press and pull just like that. So this is what that looks like again snaps in place. Oh yeah okay so this is what it actually sounds like. It was a bit rusty from the factory I guess. Pretty dope. Nice snap as always. And here we have the compartment. We will check that out in a second. Then on top, as I said, we have this graphic right here. And also right here we have the motor. This is a small turbine, well, a propeller actually. And lastly, we have the front, again, with the two separate brushes. And now we need to get way closer. So up here, we have the on and off switch. This is a three-way switch, S and F. S stands for standard cleaning mode and F stands for fast cleaning mode. And also startup introduction, turn on the switch on the flat ground, keep the robot still and you can see the indicator lights on. Several seconds later, yellow lights will flash, hold the robot and submerge it into water completely to expel the inside air and then wait for a few seconds, then release the robot to the pool bottom. So it will go through the startup sequence. Pretty nice to see, also this LED strip is awesome. Looks so cool. And now, Let's take a look inside. So now you can see the motor, well the turbine, and the motor is actually like all the electronics are inside here and it's fixed in place with tons of screws to keep it tight. Also there is a seal around here so this is 100% waterproof. This is where, the, where it gets charged. And right here we also have a cap and in here is a regular car tire valve. So let's screw this on tight. So there we go. And this is what it looks like and also what this looks like. So yeah. And you can do it the wrong way. That's great design. And then this will snap in place too. And there we have it. Good stuff. Now let me tell you all about the specs and the features. First of all, it is cordless but still powerful. All in all, it has three smart motors and 188 watts of suction power. And thanks to that, it will deliver exceptional cleaning results. And thanks to the cordless design, the operation is smooth and hassle-free. It can trip over the wire, no worries whatsoever. Moreover, it also has a long runtime. Thanks to the 10,000 mAh battery that's included, it's always ready. And all in all, it provides 3.5 hours of cleaning before it needs to be recharged. And then we also have dual ultra scrubbing brush wheels. These are made out of rubber and they turn separately in opposite direction and this way they can easily separate dirt and debris that adhere to the floor. They loosen it up from the surfaces for an easy pickup and there are two cages included. This means it can also filter out ultra fine particles from the water. Also it is state of the art, that means it's intelligent. It is 10 times more efficient than traditional robots that are just doing a randomized cleaning. This cleaner is able to intelligently plan a path, also to accurately measure the dimensions of the pool and then use advanced algorithms to map out the most efficient and most effective cleaning route. This will make it way faster and also save a lot of battery compared to a robot with a random cleaning approach. It's also very capable when we talk about climbing, it's like Spider-Man. It not only scrubs the floor but also the walls all the way up to the waterline. It's engineered for exceptional agility. It's an excellent wall climber. It also has two cleaning modes. We have the standard and the fast mode. Standard is more for a deep clean and the fast mode is more for a maintenance run. And lastly, we have the self-parking technology. When it's done, it will just park itself at the edge of the pool for easy retrieval. It will also do it when the battery is low and then you can grab it with the hook or you can also attach the string and grab the ring that will float on the surface. So here we have the pool, here we have the robot looking amazing and now let's test it. And by the way down here, I don't know if you can see it, and right here it's quite sandy on the bottom. So first of all I will 
switch out the tank and I will use the ultra fine one. They look fairly similar but on this one is a U and on this one is an S. So let's pick U for ultra fine. So once again, inserting the ultra fine tank and there we go. Next up, let's turn it on. And when the yellow LEDs are flashing, we are ready to put it into the water. Then we need to release and press the cleaning robot like we need to submerge it to empty the air. And then we need to let it sink to the bottom. And then I guess it will start automatically. So right now the LEDs are flashing yellow. If you wait for too long, then the robot will actually start on the ground. So when it's flashing yellow, you need to put it into the pool, get out the air. So as I said, check it out. Obviously we don't want that. So again, turn it on, wait for the LED to flash yellow and then immediately soak it. So let's just do that. Yeah, so the robot is now on the ground level of the pool and in a few seconds it will start the cleaning. So let's see. So as you can see the robot just started the cleaning cycle. Again this brown stuff on the bottom sadly is not sand. This is not easy to remove and here you can see it climb the wall easily it has a super strong suction and it will go up all the way to the water line and then after the descent and resetting on the floor it will climb up just a bit as you can see and then it will turn to the right just a bit to do the v shape on the walls the v shape pattern all the way up and then turn a bit to the left and then go down so that works great yeah so the robot is doing its thing so let's go for a time lapse so here we go, we can see it doing the V-shape on the walls and this pool is quite tricky because as you can see it has super rounded edges and inside the edge it can't hold on to the wall that well. But the good thing is it actually can't land on the back as you can see it will always get back to its feet because the water is coming out on top hard so don't worry about it getting stuck like a turtle. And here you can see it doing this round corner but the suction is so strong that it can also do this. But as I said, this is super tricky. This is a huge pool, so in around 30 to 40 minutes, it basically only cleaned the walls. This was all that we were able to observe. Sadly, we did not have time for a longer test, but when I watched a few other videos, I also found a long-term test with a similar situation. And after a couple of cleaning cycles, the pool got really, really clean. So I can highly recommend to also watch all the other videos about this product because it's actually a great device. And this movement was just epic. <laughs> I love it. When the robot is done, it will park itself and then you can use the hook to get it out. That's why there is a hook included. That's genius. But I will just grab it. So as I said, a full cycle will of course take way longer to complete, but let's see what it got after 30 minutes. So check it out right here. Oh, that's actually, that's actually not too bad. A lot of this green slush. Nice. And to clean it, you just need to hose it out. Of course, the big debris, put it into the trash and then hose it out. So there we go, easy as that. As you saw, the robot is doing a great job with removing all the particles in the pool, but it will take quite a bit of time. And of course, to recharge it, you need to do it right here. And when it's fully charged, then you can let it do another cycle. So this concludes the test. Not bad, not bad. As you saw, my test wasn't perfect. First of all, this is an enclosed pool, so there is literally no dirt or debris in it. Secondly, the stains on the floor, they are super hard to remove. This is lime, like limestone. It would at least need like a couple of full cycles to remove it. I'm sure the brushes could get it off eventually. So that's why I briefly want to show you this awesome video from Omar from Gigsa Labs. As you see, he has quite some debris in the pool and with his test, he was perfectly able to demonstrate the capabilities of this awesome robot. The before and after is just marvelous just after one session and if you want to see his full video it will of course be listed and linked in the description go ahead check it out also shout out to you omar for letting me use your clips and now let's get to my conclusion so here we have it 
looks great, awesome build quality, awesome performance, no app needed, I love that actually, so yeah, definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested, I will listen link the best deals for you, but before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one, enjoy your day and I will see you soon.